Maddie. Um, I'm coming for, again from St. Louis University. Um, and today, Dana and I are going to be talking about curriculum. So I am currently in school, a freshman at SLU, and I am in the Doctor of Physical Therapy program. So here it's a six year straight through program. I get a three year undergrad degree and then three years in graduate school. So I'll go through it again when I talk about the curriculum. But um, my undergrad degree will be in exercise science. And then I also will have a minor in education and potentially something else, just depending on what I decide on. Um, Dana, however, when she went to school, she got a bachelor's in physical therapy, so a little bit different. So today we're just gonna be going through um, the differences and similarities of our curriculums. I'm going step-by-step step through what I'm gonna be taking, and then she's gonna give us a little bit of a commentary on how hers deferred, and like I said, was similar to what mine is. So we're gonna get into the video. I'll see you guys all soon. Hi guys, so like I said, today I'm going to be going through the entire curriculum for the physical therapy program at SLU University. Um, so SLU has a six-year doctorate program. So as it says right here, um, you have a pre-professional phase from freshman to junior year and then a professional phase senior year through your second year of graduate school. Um, and you also progress through the program without a need for reapplying, which you can see right here. So essentially, this is a direct entry six-year program. Um, you stay with the same kids the entire time, assuming nobody drops or leaves the school, um, but no one can add into the program. So the program starts with what you have and no one is added in. And like I said, upon graduation, students must pass the National Physical Therapy um, exam, obviously to practice, and they'll end with a doctorate in physical therapy. So we'll start with year one, um, which is where I'm currently at now. So this past semester, I took principles of biology, chemistry, chem lab, DPT, which is essentially just an intro to physical therapy class. Um, I did not take English, but that is an option, intro to English. I have a credit from high school, so I did not take that, but the, technically I have that credit. Um, and then we take an IPE course. So that is basically, we've talked about it in our past videos about group work, a class that just talks about how to work interprofessionally with other um, medical professions. So that could be with a physician, it could be with a nurse, it could be with an occupational therapist, something like that. Um, and then you also would take a foreign language. I also have that credit from high school. So the fall is pretty much set for year one. However, once we get into spring of freshman year or year one, it really becomes more flexible. So you do have to take chemistry, which I'm taking now. Um, DPT you take every semester. And then we do have a math requirement, which I have from high school, but you do have to have up to pre-calculus or um, on your record, or you have to take it at SLU. Um, I am actually not taking any of this. I still need to take philosophy, theology. Those are all requirements through our school. We are a Jesuit school, so we are required to take theology. Not all the schools will make you do that. Um, and like I said, my foreign language credit I have from high school. So this is where I'm getting a little flexible and I start to get my minor in there. So I'm minoring in education and that's how I filled out those last three classes and really this um, math credit as well because I have that credit. Moving on to year two, Obviously, we get harder and harder as the years goes on. Um, I haven't taken any of these, obviously. Um, DPT, like I said, you take every single year. We also take two science courses both semesters next year. So that is human phys and then physics. Many students do take physics online over the summer, though, which is probably what I will be doing. Here you see another IPE course. We are required to get a concentration in IPE in order to complete this curriculum. Um, now we have ethics, which is a gen ed, and psychology, which I actually have taken through um, a program in my high school through AP classes. When we move on to spring, we start to see a little bit more um, classes obviously relating to physical therapy. So like last semester, they had that physiology. Now we're moving on to anatomy. Um, again, DPT like we have every semester. Physics, you must take again, um, or physics too. Again, you can take that course over the summer. You'll see IPE because you do have to have that as concentration and then you are required to go through abnormal psych. Now you'll start to see a little bit more flexibility again. Um, we see an elective here. 
that's when you can also start to bring in minor classes. Like I said, all of these can really be changed in any way. It also depends on whether or not you're going abroad. So moving into year three, you'll see now it's all elective. So this is the semester that you can choose to go abroad, which many students in the program do do. It is unique to our school that you can go abroad being in a six year physical therapy program because it is so rigorous and you do have to take so many science classes. And I do believe that's why they put you um, into science courses both semesters your sophomore year in order to kind of get ahead and so you could take this um, trip abroad. So as you can see all of these are electives um, which I'll probably be taking all electives when I go abroad. I will still need a lit elective. I have taken my history elective and fine arts elective so that's where I can place in something like ethics that I haven't taken or um, I haven't taken intro to Theo so I could do intro and another elective. So that's all things that we can kind of bring in. Um, there are a few education classes that I could bring in while abroad, not as many. I am minoring in education, so that's again where I would fit those classes in. And you are required to have a minor at SLU. Then um, spring you come back, you cannot do two semesters abroad as a physical therapy student. And I believe I mentioned this, but you have to go fall um, of your junior year or year three abroad if you want to go. So then you'll come back, like I said, spring. Another DPT class, another IPE class. I believe that's the last one, or you may need just one more to get that concentration. You're gonna be taking, this is where the DPT classes kind of get more like physical therapy classes. So you see we have exercise physiology. So before that, the DPT classes were really intro classes. They weren't as rigorous as our actual physical therapy classes that we were gonna be getting into. And exercise physiology is actually the degree that you get when you come out of SLU, like your bachelor's degree. I'll do that, BS, a bachelor's. Um, then, as you see, you also need a stats credit. So that's one that I have again from high school, but that is a requirement. So you need up through pre-calculus and then a stats credit. Then um, we have Again, all these electives, those are where you can fill your minor, or you're required to have 18 electives through the PT program, so that's kind of where you would fit those in. So here's where it gets a little interesting. So between year three and year four, you have to stay over the summer. So you take two courses over the summer, gross anatomy and kinesiology. Those do kind of go hand in hand, but in order to make this program uh, allow us to get a doctorate six years, you do have to stay that summer and you must complete both of those courses. If you fail out of either of those courses, there's not a chance to take them again and you do fail out of the program. Next we go to year four, which is kind of our transitional year. So year four, you see we're now transitioning to all DPT classes. So this is, like I said, our transition semester. So right in between these two semesters is our white coat ceremony. And that is where you kind of transition into the professional phase. So you'll see, you can read them all, but there are a ton of DPT courses and that's what we'll be taking the rest of our years here. And this is where it really gets into more of the nitty gritty PT. You also see that in spring and you can see that once you're completing semester eight, you do have a bachelor of science in exercise science. Uh, and so you can come out with that. It is an option if you decide that you don't want to do physical therapy anymore, that you can stay here and complete your degree right there if you decide to go another path. Um, and that does happen occasionally. Kids go to um, shadowing or they do certain things in these DPT courses that they decide they don't want to be a physical therapist anymore. Next, we have year five. Again, all DPT courses. We're now really in our professional phase. This is where you do a lot more clinical testing. Um, you're gonna be going out more, shadowing more. They're gonna be placing you in different areas to kind of see what you wanna do. And then spring, you can see that this is when we start really doing clinical rotations and kind of getting in, like getting your hands on patients a little bit um, and going to different offices around the St. Louis area to get hours in in order to graduate. Now we have another summer, so these are mostly clinical rotations and you can do these, I believe, anywhere you want. So this could be something that you do in your hometown. So I would do this closer to the Chicago area 
um, that do, some students do choose to stay in St. Louis and others choose to go other places. Some people take this as an opportunity to travel as well and do their clinicals somewhere else. Obviously, it is, it is cheaper if you choose to go home and stay with your parents. So now we're at, already at year six. Again, we're finishing up all of these DPT courses. And I haven't been pointing this out, but you are taking a lot of credits. You'll see 18 here, and it's kind of covered up, but 21 here every semester because you will have to get, again, your doctorate in six years, and it is a fast-tracked program. So there's no room for taking less courses. Once you get to these, like all of these are set. You have to take these, like um, DPT, professional development to biomechanical interventions, concepts of wellness. You have to take all those year six fall. Um, and then you have to do these clinical rotations then. You have to do these courses um, during spring as well. That is completely mandatory. Um, that's just how the program works. So like we said, we had some flexibility up here with um, year three and year two and things like that. We no longer see that when we get down to these last years. And that is pretty much our entire curriculum for our physical therapy program at SLU. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and, and I say hi to Dana and everyone at Smith, and I'm hoping maybe I can compare this curriculum to that of Dana's, who got a bachelor's in physical therapy, or Denise, who did a master's, and kind of compare how those differentiate um, to what I did, at, or what I'm going to be doing at SLU to get a degree that allow me allow me to practice in the same ways that they do. Hey Maddie, it was fantastic to really see an overview of your curriculum and how the, B, the DPT program at SLU is run. Um, I think it's really interesting and it's been fun to look back and compare and contrast um, how the programs were structured based on your DPT program and how school was um, when I went back in the late 90s. So um, the biggest difference obviously is that your program is six years long. My program was four years long. We graduated with a bachelor's of science in physical therapy where you will be getting the doctorate in physical therapy um, and that's the main difference there's been a big push through the American Physical Therapy Association that all new PTs coming out will have their doctorate degree and that was really kind of guided by us being able to get direct access um, so fortunately I've been grandfathered into that process so I don't have to go back to school to up my degree um, even though sometimes the thought has crossed my mind but anyway so you're done in six years I was finished in four years but we did have enough credits technically that it would have been a master's level program so based on credit hours it came out to what people graduating with master's degrees would have but we were awarded the bachelor of science in physical therapy um, we did have to reapply to our program during the second semester of our sophomore year and that was really just to make sure that everybody was on track with their GPAs we had to have a certain GPA through our pre-professional phase which was the first two years of school so if you weren't meeting those requirements and weren't on track Track, then you were going to be removed from the program and you'd either have to switch your major completely or try and reapply the next year if only if a space opened up so there was a little bit of a difference there because it was um, very competitive to get into the program you are f very very lucky and I'm jealous that you have more flexibility kind of built into your curriculum because we had all of our um, pre-professional and professional classes packed into a four-year program our curriculum was really pretty rigid we were not available to travel and study abroad or to really get in a lot of elective classes really the only way that we could do that was through taking AP classes in high school which I did so that was nice um, I was able to have a little bit more leeway than some of my other physical therapy classmates during my first two years in school because I did have AP credit coming in. Um, I also thought it was fun that you only had to have pre-calc. We had to have calculus in our program so that was the requirement then also. Um, we did not require a minor like you do but um, I know now 
instead of, I know you guys get an exercise science degree as a bachelor's um, after your first four years. I know now at Bradley, uh, you get a degree in health sciences is your undergrad degree if you stick with the curriculum that they recommend. Um, we also started our extra terms, so you go in the summer after your junior year. We did that starting our sophomore year. We stayed over breaks and over the summer to get in extra English classes, and that was really when we got into the nitty gritty with our uh, gross anatomy courses as well. So I don't know why, but gross anatomy classes seem to be over the summer for whatever reason. Um, I hope you love it as much as I did. That was my one of my favorite classes. And um, we were assigned clinicals. We were not allowed to choose where we did our clinical rotations. And I think part of that was because, um, and I see this now, people tend to choose the same kind of rotation every time. It's at a different facility, but maybe it's always in sports or whatever. Um, we were assigned completely different settings in each of our clinicals to give us a taste of something new each time we went out. So we'll get into that more. We have a few years before we have to worry about discussing our clinical rotations, but I think it's pretty cool if you're able to choose where you want to go. Um, so you'll have to keep us posted as as that comes around, how that how that goes by. And also, um, we didn't have a white coat ceremony. We just went from pre-professional to professional over a summer taking gross anatomy. That was, I guess, our initiation into the program. So um, the other similarity is that we both had a lot of credit hours. There were some, most of my semesters were 20 credit hours and above. So it seems like a lot and it seems overwhelming, but I know you can do it um, and you'll do great. So this was fun looking back at our curriculums and com kind of comparing and contrasting. Again, a lot of similarities, but quite a few differences as well. And it'll be fun to keep going and seeing how your semester progresses. Um, from all of us at Smith, we always say hi and hope you're doing well. And we'll see you in the next video.